Okay, footprinters, Chrissy back again. I saw a new story that said the Trump administration is pushing to, um, where is it? They're drafting a pact for mining on the moon called something they're, they're trying to draft something called the Artemis Accord for mining on the moons in partnerships with other countries or the US sponsored international agreement yeah the Trump administration is drafting a legal blueprint for mining on the moon under a US sponsored international agreement called the Artemis Accords the agreement would be the least, latest effort to cultivate allies around NASA's plan to put humans and space stations on the moon within the next decade and comes as the Civilian Space Agency plays a growing role in implementing Australian, American foreign policy. It's one thing to put people up there. It's another thing to mine it. The damn thing is in orbit around our, our planet. <laughs> Do you really want them big, digging great big chunks out of it? So, I thought I'd have a look at this Artemis Accord. Is it a non-starter? I'm going to do an overview on it. The Artemis Accord for mining operations on the moon. Is it a non-starter? Let's have a look at it. Let's do an overview on it. And I'm using the Voyager deck, which is by James Wanless. It's such a fascinating de deck, and it's got so many different depths. I might have to look at the book, maybe. Um, but let's have a look. The Five of Crystals, Negativity. Um, the idea of mining the moon for resources, it's it's not getting a lot of support. Um, five of crystals, five of swords. Abuse of power. It's getting a pretty negative response with the feelers they're putting out. Be great cost at what reward? So anyway, the chariot. So the, the, the situation with it is he's driving it forward. Very interesting. The chariot, one of the chariots, is the little moon buggy here. There's this drive to push it forward on the part of the Trump administration. Um, I really, 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 really want it. <laughs> um, yeah, but will they get it? What are the current influences on this Artemis Accord? Fortune, that is 10, that is the, um, strength. They feel like they have a really strong case, a really strong argument. And fortune, fortune, oh, look, we can make a lot out of it. Look at the... the how much can we make out of fortune, strength? They feel really strongly that there's a lot of money to be made out of it. Not everything is about money. Not everything should be about money. What's over the top of all this? Number two, priestess. This is agendas, other people's agendas, uh, the White House's agendas, and they're not revealing their whole agenda um, the mask being cracked open and lifted over the face here but there's still a lot that remains hidden you can just see the face just the face and you can only see part of the face a lot of the face that remains hidden there's a lot of the you know it's pretty stoic expression that's not revealing much there's a lot of hidden agenda in there with their Artemis Accord. 
what is the near future put this down sorry the near future with regard to this accord what's in the near future for it three of cups trying to get support for it trying to get people to support it given what's on the bottom of the deck here negativity this is then this the immediate future they're going to be trying to get more support than they have they don't have as much support as they thought they would have what's underneath everything strength 11 strength 10 this 11 card is strength so yeah this a um, couple of different little different things here so here it's strength 11 is normally the hermit I just have a little guide here that I use to make sure 11 is normally the hermit but in this one in this deck it's strength so underneath it all is there's a really really <sighs> there's a strong push for it and I get when I'm looking at this I get commercial 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 investment um yeah those companies that exploit minerals and all that the same ones that exploit them on earth they're just licking their lips at the idea of getting up onto the moon and they've got a strong case and they're pushing it behind the scenes pushing it pushing it pushing it but it's um it's hidden it's isolated it's not so much out in the open which um yeah so that's a bit of the hermit bit to it as well so that's interesting these cards are very interesting it's like that should just be card number 10 but it's 11 but it's also got because it's underneath it's in the position that it's underneath there's that hermit part this isolated part this part we can't see and then we've got the priestess up here with hidden agendas so there's hidden agendas up here there's hidden agendas down here there's greed here there's a strong drive for it and there's a drive to get support but is it going to happen what about past actions how is this going to affect the artemis accord balance balance finding a new balance so this is in this is in um this deck at least this is temperance okay um temperance is normally number nine i think no this is eight eight justice balance oh yeah justice this is justice so they feel justified in pushing forward with this um we got there first so it's ours to to make the decisions on they feel justified in doing it yeah this is number eight sometimes with um Roman numerals, I've got to double check that I've got the number right, which is why you might see me looking sometimes. Number eight, justice, balance. The balance of justice is on that. They feel like because we got there first in the past and we planted stuff up there, that they'd be justified in doing what they want with it. What is the next step for the Artemis Accord? Child of Crystals, the learner. That's a page of swords. Look at that. Child of crystals, the learner. That's off in the spy in the camp or whistleblower. There's somebody's going to... Look, this is interesting. Look, in this deck here, there's a woman with her child there. And so, oh, there's this little girl. She's 
hiding in the corner, peeking around the corner. She's in the dark. She's looking towards the light. And this other child is saying, look, we have knowledge. I think there could be a whistleblower there. I'm just going to find that deck here. Child of Crystals, that is actually not the page or the whistleblower, that's actually the, the, the night. Wondrous place for exploration. But it's still someone coming through to me like, what's next for it? It's this, this, um, Chaos. It's the night. I still feel like it's somebody coming through and telling, telling something, charging through with this is what you need to know. I think this is someone charging, charging in, and saying, "No, look, this is what you really need to know. What's going on here?" Because with the hidden agendas that are around this here, and the money that could be involved in that, you know justifying themselves it's there's somebody's going to come forward and say look hey there's stuff you've got to know let's have a yeah clarifier on top of that this is the learner somebody who's learned what's going on child of child of crystals the knight of crystals they've learned what's going on and they're charging forward to, to into a fence and they're going to be joined by another child, the child of wands, the seeker seeking the truth. So, this is the investigator going in after being told what is basically a whistleblower, but a bit higher up in the chain than you might expect, I think. This is a higher level whistleblower, the, the learner, the child of crystals, child of wands, an investigator being sent in to investigate so it is not all it appears to be when is anything that Trump does or the Trump administration does when is anything all that it appears to be so that was one question I wanted to ask about it. It's that's what's behind it. Next next question I want to ask Will this accord be signed? Will they get it up and running? So that's what it's all about, the overview of this accord, what it's all about. Greed, money, secret agendas, secret deals. Well, we got there first, so we have the ultimate right to make the decisions about it, blah, blah, blah. No. You don't. Will this accord have ever be signed? If drafting it doesn't mean people are going to sign up to it. Will this accord be successful? Let's have a look. On the bottom, the fortune card. If 
which is normally the strength card, but it's fortune card here. Making a fortune, but we can make a fortune. That's what they're saying. Woman of Wands, Spencer. Yeah, somebody's going to step in and say, whoa, whoa. Not necessarily Nancy Pelosi. But there's somebody's going to step in and say, whoa, pull up the reins. This is Sensor. Sensor, somebody who's watching it. Who's keeping an eye on it. The sun. 19. Yep. Stuff's going to come to light about it. Sorrow. People are going to be really, really, really upset if it goes through. They're not going to be happy. Sage of Wands, Page of Wands, a seer. Somebody's going to come forth and say, look, this is unwise. This should not happen. Will it get international support? Hangman. Not really. It, it's going to be held up. Uh, it's going to be basically put into suspended animation, put into limbo. People they don't want to have anything to, like that with, with Trump to do. They don't want to have anything to do with something like that that Trump is putting forward other countries. So they're going to just like send it into limbo. Um, I think he's trying to do it as a, is Trump using it as a gimmick to boost his election chances? Yeah, he is. He's using it as a gimmick to boost his election chances. So it's, it's not really going to go anywhere. Even though there's a whole, we've got the whole story of what was behind it. But ultimately, it, it's more of a gimmick to Trump. And it's not really going to go anywhere. So, that's the, what do they call it? Artemis Accord. But there's still the thing. Now, I was discussing on my live session the other day, should the moon be treated like Antarctica in that there should be an agreement, no mining um, for, you know, that's that sort of thing. Um, of course, there are still people going in there and doing things they shouldn't. And, you know, countries who are not signed up to the Accord for the Antarctic go in there and, you know, do mineral exploration and all that. Should the moon be subject to an Accord like to should the moon be subject to uh, an accord the same as the Antarctic Accord or will it will it be treated the same as the Antarctic yeah, will, be, will there be a similar accord reached as there was for the Antarctic. Yeah, will there, will there be a similar accord reached for the moon as there was for the Antarctic? Empress. There's such an abundance of things to go through first. But this is a good card. There's an abundance of people who feel that that should be the case as well. Universe. This is bigger than any one country. This is a universal thing. 
This includes the whole world. The whole world should be in agreement on this. It should be a universal agreement. And it will be. Um, that is a yes card. So there will be universal agreement reached. It will take some doing. There will be vital crossroads, two of crystals, two of sword, in order to come to the equanimity that's needed, the um, the accord that's needed. There's going to be some vital decisions that have to be made. There are going to be some people, regardless, who will still try and get away with stuff. Take the glitter off things. <laughs> yeah, you can see this is a very much a mineral-based card. Uh, very much a resource picture card. So there's going to be people who are still going to try and get away with stuff. But <laughs> Trump would be right up there. But this is after Trump. This is going to be post-Trump. Uh, so this is not Trump. This is what the emperor represents at its best. The rule of law, the rule of judgment, the rule of accord. So yes, I think ultimately the moon is going to be treated like Antarctica is. It's... They might be able to access some materials and stuff for use up there, but not for export back to earth but i think it's going to be very much end up being treated as the antarctic is it could also be treated as a base for further exploration which could be um so that's uh very interesting anyway so that is my look at the artemis accord and future of the moon under earth's watch if i was the moon i think i'd be packing my bag and going up bye <laughs> i don't want you people here <laughs> bye bye love you all see you at the next reading